All right, so one of the um, cool features with Microsoft Forms Pro is the ability to make multilingual surveys. So if you have a survey that you are sending out and it's you've got customers from all over the world, you want that survey to be displayed in their specific language. So this is a way in which to do this. So it's pretty cool. All right, so we've got our survey. This is the one that we're gonna go ahead and translate. So if I come up to the top here, I've got multilingual as an option. If I go ahead and click on this, I can then go ahead and we can add additional languages. We see what our def default language is. I want to go ahead and I want to add in French. All right, so French is listed as Francais. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. You can see I could keep going through and keep on adding as many languages as needed. Now, this is not going to translate this for you. You have to put in the translations, but you can put in as many languages as needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the pencil icon to edit this. So we can see now, we can basically see the, the English. If I go ahead and click into a question, I can then see where I've got my English above. So I always see the original, but then I can go ahead and I can paste in what the translation is. Now I don't speak French, this is all from Google Translate. So if, it's, if it seems a bit weird, apologies. So I'm then gonna go ahead and put in, well, what's the translation for this? and then we close out of it and we can see our translations immediately. So, what kind of pets do you have? And then we've got our animals. Now what I have seen with the, um, the choices is it's not um, showing those necessarily until I click out of them. So I've pasted in these three but I didn't paste in these ones yet. So I still see the English, but when I click into it, I'm not able to see it there. Um, so that's the only difference. Whereas with these ones, I see it above. So keep that in mind. Um, so hamster is apparently the same in French. So I'm going to miss um, a field and then I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the other ones. So now we can see all of those. And then lastly, how would you rate your pets? There we go. So now I can see everything in French. So I'm gonna go back. Now, if I go and I click on, sorry, on send survey and I get the link for this. This is based on the language of the browser. So um, when you are using um, Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, um, Internet Explorer, whatever you're using, there are settings. So if I come into settings um, and there we go in advance. So this is just Google Chrome. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you'll see something like languages where you can basically set up what your default language is. So in this, my default language for this browser is English. So therefore it's showing me the English version. If I wanted to see the French version, I could manually click and there I'm displayed the French version. If I take this URL and I go into Firefox, you can see here it's in French. I've set the default language to French in this um, Firefox browser. If I then go ahead and paste it to the exact same, same URL, if I paste that in, it will automatically display the um, survey based on that language in the browser. So you can see there, it's immediately shown it, shown it to me in French, but I also have the ability to switch it and change it to English. So great way to be able to set up your surveys, create one survey, but then you will have to do those translations yourself, but that you will know that based on the language settings in a browser, they will be able to see the, the survey in their language of choice. So hope that helps. Um, let me know in the comments below if you see this as something that you would be um, using within your organization and in what capacity. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.